and gentlemen, welcome back to the show. So, I got my books from yesterday from the comic book shop, but also have books I got from my vacation. So, with that said, these are my books I got for spring break, and I'm just getting to them. So, my first book is Jungle Action number 23, featuring Black Panther. Now, the reason why I got this book is because of the cover. That's all I bought it for. Cause this is an awesome cover. Look at that. I love the old school Black Panther look. He missing his cape, but look at that pose though, man. That is nice. The spotlight on him, like he just robbed somebody and the cops looking for him. Awesome. Haven't read the story, but just for the cover, that's why I got it. Now, my second book is X-Men number 19. This is a good story. I love the story so far. And this one, you got um, X-23, a.k.a. Wolverine. You got Darwin. And then you got um, Stench. They went to the future and they got captured. And somehow they lived like a uh, hundred years there just to find out a certain thing about this group of um, people. So it's a good story. Then my second, my third book is Crossover. Which one is the one? This is number five. And again, I haven't read none of these books yet. I'm waiting until the story on the limited series over with. Once the limited series over with, then I would read them. But other than that, I'm just collecting them. So I think there's one more, I think. I think it's six issue miniseries. So once that's done, then I would read it. But other than that, I like the cover so far. So I can tell you about it. Then I got John Walker, US Agent number 14. I don't care what anyone said. I love me some John Walker as U.S. Agent. I didn't like him as Captain America, but I like him as U.S. Agent. Now, a lot of people don't like him, especially now because of the TV show. And people got to realize, that's how he was in the old comic books also, if you watch the TV show, Falcon and Winter Soldier. He turned out to be a real dick. But, other than that, good story. This is about, um... Another U.S. agent, and basically got bloodlust. I mean, he killing people, all that type of stuff. And John Walker, not really U.S. agent anymore. They're trying to go after him, and it turns out he's dating John Walker's sister, who is taking uh, super hormone drugs to get super soldier serum. So, good story. And I think that there's one more also, five part. Then I have. X-Men Legend number two. This is the story of the third Summers brother. And it turned out it was um, Adam X. But a lot of that, good story. It takes place back in the 90s before it changed everything around. So I'm not sure if this story is going to stay um, continuity-wise, you know. This is maybe almost like a what-if story. They wanted to do this in the 90s, but never did it. And they decided to do it now. So I'm not sure if it in continuity or not. But it's a good story. I'm waiting for issue three for Walt Simonson and Louise Simonson to come back and do their take on it. Good story, like I said. Then these are my books from yesterday. Now, this is a new book from Image called Nocturne. I like the first book so far. I haven't read the second one yet, but the first one had a good story to it. I like it. Let's just see how it takes place later on. I can't wait to read this one. Then you have my Immortal Hawk number 45. Oh, 
Last issue, they had like the U-Force versus the Hawk, and supposedly they killed them. But as we know, you can't kill the Hawk. I just like how skinny he looked. Like, he looked malnourished. Look at that. Then I have King in Black number five. Now, I cannot remember if I got number four or not. I think it was delayed and then I got other books and other stuff started happening. But I'm still going to read it just in case I did get number four. My memory bad right now. I can't even remember if I got it or not. But I am loving this cover, though. I mean, look, they went all in detail with that one right there. Look at that. The bones showing, rib cage, the meat, the skull. This is some good right there. And I'm loving the story. And then I have Batman 107. I'm liking the cover, but I'm not feeling a new Scarecrow outfit. I mean, that hat, like, he's going to the beach. You know what I'm saying? Like, he got a straw hat on. Like, I just, I don't like the look. It just look weird. But, oh, I admit, I'm liking this. And I like how they're trying to make Harley Quinn a good guy and part of the Batman family. Sell on it last. And then I got from out of the, um, oh, a future state. I got the next Batman, second son, number one. I can't wait to read this. Because I like Future State, the new Batman. So, I hope this is good. Four parts. So, I'll probably get all four. And those are my books for this Wednesday. So, if you like the video, share it. Send me some likes. Subscribe to me, send me some comments, let me know how I'm doing. So until next time, see you when I see you. Peace.